I don't get a lot of shoes, but my old sneakers are falling apart. I'm like, you know what? It's time to get a new pair of shoes. And instead of getting athletic shoes, I decided to go with something a little more stylish. I just got Adidas Turbular Vader Strap All Red. Very, very excited. And here they are. Look at those. Not bad, not bad. It looks pretty much like they do online. Now, the hardest thing about these is always a fit. Because I always buy Adidas' sports athletic stuff, and in their sports athletic stuff, I'm right on a size 13. But for some weird reason, athletic shoes always run just a little bit bigger. So I did try on the Adidas Sambas, which I don't know if that's a good judge or not, but I was a 13 in the Samba, so I decided to go a 13 in the actual Adidas. So right here you get the strap. These are Yeezy inspired. If I am correct. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But yeah, so you do have the laces. So it is a little misleading because online it just looks like it's just a straight up strap. But there are laces. So I'm going to guess you just tie it up and then you fold them down and then you use the clip and then voila. That's it. You got the bottom. It's a, it's an interestingly translucent type gel. Um, doesn't seem to have much traction on my hands, but when you put it on the table, it's pretty grippy. All right, let's put these bad boys on. So as you can see, I did tie up the laces. I just folded them down and then voila, you put the strap over and you got yourself some nice badass shoes. This is for comparison. These are my boots. It's for, you know, because Pittsburgh gets a lot of snow. So there you go. Pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna shoot some more emails, and then today I'm gonna meet two more potential clients, so. You're ambivalent towards guac? How could you be ambivalent towards guac? It tastes like nothing. <laughs> guac tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing. It's just some sort of paste you put in your mouth. That's terrible. I mean, terrible. it's there, but it doesn't taste like anything. Anyways, if you couldn't have guessed, we're <laughs> off to Chipotle because that's like an American classic these days, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially for 20 year olds. Look at that black and green buggy. That is awesome. I would like a black and green buggy. There it is. Uh, all my uncles are electricians, so you can say it's in my blood. Oh, thank you. Try too fast. Try too furious. I'm too fast for y'all, man. Try too fast. Try too furious. Oh, I'm too fast for y'all. About to go into client meeting number one. Should be good. I've been trying to get in touch with these guys for quite some time, so hopefully it all goes well. I'm gonna go let them in the front door because you need key access to get in. All right, just got done with the first meeting. It was really, really good. Yes, I am the bathroom. I love it when you find someone, you guys are just on the same wavelength, you get it and your energy just builds off each other. It's great. It's really, it's really hard to find people like that. So now off to meeting number two. Got done with meeting number two. My bud Connor and I are going on a coffee date because we haven't chatted in a long time because all we do is just work all day. There's something great about a coffee shop though. I just love the smell, the aroma. It just really gets me in a working mood. I don't know what it is about. It's like light chatter, it's not too quiet. Fantastic. Well, the coffee place that we wanted to go to closed at six. I mean, that's pretty early for even a coffee shop. Like six is, uh, it's pretty early. So we're going back to Zeke's where, I, it's not like I don't like Zeke's, it's just I go there a lot, so it's like, eh, but coffee is coffee. <sighs> At the coffee place. So got back to, not, not quite my place, but Zach's place because we're gonna be Hello. good friends and actually catch up. What? It's only been like four days. He knows all about my life already. 
true. So, we're gonna start a little thing called this or that. All right. So, Zach, phone call or text? Phone call, absolutely. I think it depends on the situation. Admittedly, I don't want someone to phone call me just to say lol. Form or function? Huh, I think function. Well, no, function. This one is really tricky. For me, it's like synonymous, actually. Function is beauty. It's true that the design of something should mimic the function of it. Yeah, this is a bad question. Screw you, Damn internet. Damn you, internet. Yeah, we're getting these questions off the internet, by the way, because we're unoriginal. High tech or low tech? I think generally I'm low tech, though. Hmm. I think I'm I definitely think, high yeah. tech. Definitely high tech. Mm. Oh, this is All right, Zach, so read off the first question. The question. Would you rather save the life of a starving African child that you will never meet, or have an actual working lightsaber? No Jedi would ever pass up the opportunity to save a starving child, even at the cost of the lightsaber. Okay, so would you rather take a European sightseeing vacation or a relaxing Caribbean vacation? Relaxing Caribbean vacation. I'm a horrible tourist. I don't like moving around a lot. I do like swimming though. I actually normally would choose the Caribbean one, but I'm actually feeling adventurous, so I'd rather go sightseeing in Europe. Would you rather legally change your last name to Hitler, hmm, or never eat chocolate again? I don't know, Andy Hitler doesn't sound very pleasing. <laughs> I don't think anything Hitler sounds pleasing at this point, but I... Fine, we're supposed to say that we won't eat chocolate again, we won't eat chocolate again, god damn it. I'd actually change my last name to Hitler. <laughs> I love chocolate. Like, I think it'd be a great conversation starter. Like, wow, Mr. Mr. Hitler. And then we can go about how we got to this conversation simply because of would you rather. So I don't know how politically correct what I'm about to say is, but as a white person, if I changed my name to Hitler, that would just be too much. <laughs> That's fair. That, that would be a bad decision on That's so many fair. levels. Oh. This is a hard one. Okay. Would you rather go way back in time and meet your ancestors, like pre-1800s, or go way into the future and meet your great-grandchildren, post-2200? Oh god, I had an answer for this and then I lost it because, let's be honest, those would both be pretty cool. Those are, yeah. I think I'd rather go back in time. Ugh. That would be kind of depressing, actually. I'm pretty sure my Vikings are, or my ancestors are Vikings. And as cool as that would seem to meet them, I don't think I'd be about the raping, pillaging, and plundering thing. So, I'm gonna have to say go into the future. I think it's gonna be less depressing for me. And, uh, it's good to know that my, you know, line carried on. That is still stroking my face. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, are- I'm terrible with history. Were the Vikings around in the 1800s? Or were they earlier? Uh, pre-1800s. Oh, pre-1800s. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. uh, my samurai ancestors- no, I'm just kidding, I'm Chinese. Um. I would, I would go way into the future. I'd go into the future and meet my great-grandchildren. Way into the past for you would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a good time for me. Mm. Mm, nah. Not as exciting mm. as pillaging and... Plundering stuff. Yeah. and anything. I'm, I'm really yeah. big onto, like, in the previous question, the tech, I'm, I'm big into the future. I, I want to see my, like, little babies and see how interracial I am at that point. Like, that'd be very interesting. Because, like, I'm pure mm. Chinese right now, but, like, I'm already dating someone who's not Chinese, so I can only imagine mm. my great-grandchildren. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna change my answer. I'm gonna change my answer to see my ancestors. Whoa, whoa, you're, you're yeah. gonna change answers? I'm gonna flip-flop. I'm flip-flopping. I, uh, I need to get in touch with my roots. Alright, so to conclude it off, we're gonna have a question for you. Mm. Alright. Kick it off, Zach. Would you rather have more time or more money? That's a pretty good one. Mm. Let us know in the comments below. I'm just gonna end the video here because it's late and you know we're tired. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have the subscribe button somewhere in Zach's face because Zach has a very pretty face ah, with a beard. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. So uh, until next time.